It has been a month and a half since the release of Isle of Armor DLC, and by this point most of us have completed it. We've collected all the Diglets, we've defeated Mustard and Avery, and we've also collected the entire Pokedex. So what is there really to look forward to at this point? There's other Nintendo games that have been released recently, such as Paper Mario, um, but there's not much else to think about. So for now, I present the Crown Tundra DLC Countdown. So today on the countdown, I actually really just want to say welcome back to the countdown again. This is the third countdown I've done, which is really awesome to think. It's actually almost been a year since I started the first countdown, so that's that's really cool in general. Um, but so yeah, welcome back to the countdown. Uh, brand new DLC coming out in the fall. That's all we know. Uh, I did want to mention that I've never really mentioned this before, um, but the date I have in mind is November 15th. Um, so right now we have no release date for Crown Tundra uh, and you might be a little confused why I have a specific number. I'm just choosing November 15th for now. Um, in fact, I chose June 16th for IO of Armor and I actually ended up being one day off, which is really dang awesome. Um, so I'm not, I'm not saying I'm going to be a day off on this one anyway. I just chose that for a you know, just a specific date, um, since we only have fall as our release window. Um, so, welcome to Crown Touch for Countdown. Um, we know a little bit about it, not too much so far. It's very simple information. We know about a couple Pokemon, um, and about a couple characters and stuff. Um, but that's, that's really it. And I'm just, I'm really excited to see what's going to happen with this DLC. I think Personally, they did a really, really good job with Isle of Armor. I really enjoyed it. Um, the The story is... I think the story was a perfect amount. I don't think it was too much, and I don't think it was too little. I think a lot of people might think it's a little too little, but I think it was a good amount. I think it really was a good amount. They had uh, you know, enough for you to be able to say, okay, there's a part one to it where you have to you know, get to the point where you're able to get uh, Cub Fu, and then the part two is in, oh, train Cub Fu, and then part three is, you know, get Cub Fu the G-Max. So that's really, really cool the way they did that. And of course, they added a perfect amount of Pokemon, so it feels very synergy, uh, and there's just, there's just so much to do. Um, and so the current Tundra is also something I'm really looking forward to, uh, especially since it's going to be mostly legendary-based. Um, so they're going to have parts of a story, almost like a Telltale game, if you're familiar with that where they'll release specific stories uh, as we go throughout the game. So, who knows, the first one could be a Gen 1 story, or even a Gen 8 story if you're going to focus more on the Galarian birds um, and the new Regis. But, you know, you would go from Gen 1 story, okay, so then maybe you get the you can get the um, Cantonian birds first. Maybe Mew or Mewtwo is going to be there as well. And then we can move on to Gen 2, where we can get the... Lugia Ho-Oh story or something, you know, and then we can go to Kyogre, Groudon, Palkia, Dalkia, you get the point. So it's going to be a lot of fun, L really interesting to see what they're going to do with it. Um, and especially we're, since we're going to get a bunch of new Pokemon, obviously, well, not new, but all of the old Pokemon are going to return, um, and we're going to get Slowking, so heck, they did a good job with Slowpro, so I'm excited to see what they have with Slowking. But yeah, so there's there's not much that we, we can talk about other than that. Um, I'm just excited for it. There's a lot of potential, um, and I think that they're going to do a really, really good job. Um, in fact, there's a big rumor going around that there could be even more DLC beyond this. Who knows? Maybe I'll talk about that in a future video. Um, two things I want to mention before I end the video off. Uh, tomorrow, I will be uploading a uh, update video for this channel, so if you are interested to see what's going to happen with this channel, um, please watch that video. It, it, it contains some important information for the next few months um, that will be very very important to Pokemon specifically too so watch that if you're interested and then the other thing I want to mention before I end this video off is that this countdown um, is gonna be uploaded every Friday uh, until about 20 ish days or so before the game releases um, so expect this every Friday I know I said I was gonna start this not last Friday um, I didn't I, I there was I went through a really really rough point last week where I was uh, not wanting to do YouTube um, so we're starting it this Friday uh, and expect it to be every Friday until about uh, 20 days or so before and then we'll start it every weekday like we did with I love armor so anyway 
Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys coming by, and I hope you guys enjoy this countdown.